So let's continue on with this shuffle groove and we're going to add a few more concepts that are really useful to have in your back pocket when playing rhythm guitar. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is adding uh, some additional fills in between our kind of percussive chord stabs. Um, I really listen to a lot of uh, organ players and piano players, guys like uh, uh, Jimmy Smith or Big John Patton, great organ players, and a lot of times they'll play these really fat, kind of meaty fills um, in their sort of rhythm playing. So I like to add a little bit of that into um, my rhythm guitar style, um, playing things like uh, really simple fills, but the kind of thing you would imagine like a piano player or an organ player playing. And the cool thing about these type of types of fills, again, is um, they don't really step on anybody's toes. They kind of stay out of the way but give you um, another layer of something you can add to your rhythm playing to kind of build intensity and um, add another kind of rhythmic element to what you're doing and sort of fill in some of the spaces between some of the um, chord stabs and things like that. So this first time around, um, we're going to add a little bit of that with some chord jabs, and we're going to use a few different chord voicings that I like. Um, just to uh, map things out a little bit more on the fretboard. Then the second time uh, through the form, um, we're going to do uh, some of my kind of go-to sort of voice leading or chord melody types of lines, um, things where we can use some different chord voicings almost as fills. Um, and these are things that I've just kind of accumulated over the years um, that I think are really handy um, and can sound really cool and again just take things to another level. So um, I'll show you a few of my little go-to movements um, for adding some passing chords and some movement and then at the very end uh, we'll wrap it up with an ending fill because um, I think that's a really important thing to have in your vocabulary. Uh, good blues ending you know is always a good thing and there's a ton of great ones so we'll do sort of this little uh, voice leading chordal ending lick. So again, I'm going to play um, two times through the 12 bar form. We're in the key of A and um, I'll play kind of our chord stabs with some organ inspired fills and then the second time around elaborate with some more uh, chord melody ideas. <laughs> 